All right, congratulations. Uh, you're probably here in this video because you just got the Zim Matrix and you're trying to set it up for the Sony Navigation Controller. Um, just like me, I'm gonna go ahead and start from the very beginning. Uh, essentially, this is the manager and firmware that it, it ships with. I'm gonna start with that, though you should upgrade it as soon as you can, but just like me, you're probably gonna be super excited. Uh, on Obziv Signature, there's a matrix guide that you want to follow, and there is a specific area for the Sony Navigation Controller, which you could use wired or wireless. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Sony Nav into number 2 here, which is the left side. As you can see, it's not connected yet. There's no movement, nothing you could do. Plug it in, and now it is functional. Alright. Uh, when I plug mine in, I don't have, mine does not show anything at all when it's wired. Um, it will present itself as a Sony Navigation, it will be the DualShock 3 when connected. I'm going to plug in my G502 wireless, so you can see what it looks like initially as well. In this case, mine pops up as a mouse and keyboard. So, for the G502 and whichever mice you end up using with the Sony Nav, Make sure you change in Logitech G Hub the for me in particular I believe this is the G Shift function. I have it as M and I have the left or bottom DPI. I have it as L and then the upper DPI as K, but and then the left and right I have set up for the mouse. Middle works like normal, scrolling up um, and down that should work like normal as well, but I don't have anything set up for that. Alright, so let's go in the game real quick because one of the first things you want to do is configure uh, navigate mode. And essentially what will happen is if you don't configure it, you're going to have issues in game. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. Alright, so what's going to happen is if you go in game, we'll put up Modern Warfare 2 real quick. Um, so you can see with a Sony Nav, you can actually begin moving and um, you know whatnot. But what's going to happen is when you try to change your aim, it's not going to work properly. Uh, essentially, it's going to look like you can't move your aim at all. all. Right? So, look at this. I am moving my mouse, but nothing is happening. It's just seemingly stuck. Right? So, it's a little odd when you try to set that up. And that's why it's really important to go ahead and set up our, our custom navigate mode. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. You have to make sure you go to global settings. Alright, custom navigate mode. I'm going to deactivate mine. Challenge gamepad X and then this one to circle. That's these two buttons right here. Alright, we're going to save and go back. But you do need to make sure to create a new config first. I'm going to go Modern Warfare 2. Alright. Go PS5 and mouse and gamepad. Alright, so it, like I said, if you go in game, right, right now since it's loading, you can't do anything. It looks like it's not working, but once this config is finished um, adding, you'll be able to use this like regularly. Okay, wait for that real quick. Almost there, and I'm gonna go ahead and say no for now. As you can see, it says you are in navigate mode, which is active. You go in game, all right. If you try to aim your mouse, nothing happens. You can still use the buttons like normal, but nothing. So, since we set it up already, we're gonna go ahead and disable it. Navigate mode. And now, when you move your mouse, works, works, works fine. Works normal. Okay. So this is wired mode. As you can see, no issues. If I were to unplug it you'll see it still functions and for mine that's when it begins blinking but um, like I said no issues with me using it alright so the other thing you want to do is when you go to Obziv's guide there's actually a settings that you want to use initially I'm gonna go ahead and select that copy and when you paste it you only do mappings only all right Paste mappings only. I'm going to change this to the DPI of my mouse, which I have to 25,600. Now, 
me I know I'm gonna have to set this up higher I'm gonna go 250 for now and 150 you will fine-tune these settings to your liking as necessary so in this case uh, when it comes to mapping this is just a generic starter right you're gonna want to change it to however you like to run your nav in this case for me when it comes to the L1 button right here I actually like that as jump and then when it comes to L2 I use that as a, a left thumbstick click because essentially this will die if you keep clicking so hence I use this for running now and let's see we're gonna have to change X right here right so let's look for X there it is so it's still X and it hasn't changed I'm gonna change this to this T button that usually brings up the player menus right or I guess the players it's kind of like the pause screen and then we're gonna change circle here as well I'm gonna put it to options and a couple more things let's see in this case I'm gonna change some stuff for the mouse alright so uh, and for me like I said uh, it's really gonna depend on how you want to set it up but I'm gonna go ahead put the this is letter M for me usually for that I have that set up as crouch alright and then I'm gonna add another one this is the forward button here and for me I have that as the right thumbstick for clicking which is usually like you know to melee I'm gonna add one more button this is the back mouse back button and I'm gonna change that to square which is typically reload uh, let's take a look here what we have so far. I'm gonna add one more because we need or actually a couple more middle mouse button for me I like to use that as a weapon swap add another one the left DPI I have it as L I use that for L1 and then L2 the upper for me right here I have it set as nope wrong <laughs> okay let's try that again upper is K for me and I have that set as um, R1 alright so let's save that real quick and we'll go back in game just to make sure everything works exactly how I set up so you can aim as necessary let's go back to the menu so you can see what I'm actually pressing alright so movement L1 I have set as jump R2 I have set as sprint alright and then L1 I have set to upper DPI uh, actually I actually have no no tacticals but let's change that real quick R I still have now I'm gonna go ahead and use both because this would be your special in a way right I'm gonna come up to it I'm gonna press my reload button which is the back ah, we're reloaded so now we could use the left button swap weapons and you are set and that's pretty much how you use the Sony navigation controller as a uh, initial startup so just want to give a big shout out to the Zim team for making this all happen and happy gaming y'all